previously after two failed attempts i decided to do a third attempt i made my own circuit board and i soldered it on on a soldering board i put all the components inside of a housing and it worked like a charm so friends my phone stand with lights is now finally ready so let me show you all the components so as you can see uh, there's a button press switch here and at the back of it you have another switch that's the main power this side kills the power and this allows the power to flow this is the first LED the second the third the fourth and the fifth LED and this little tiny thing here is the main power input slot so let me show you how this works for this i have made a special proprietary cable that connects to this um, phone stand so let me just quickly connect this for you well now we'll use a normal power bank uh, the output is 5 volts nothing special no fast charging and boom let's just simply connect this so friends if you take a phone and just place it like that uh, let me just turn on the power bank real quick and as you can see this would automatically turn off after 10 seconds so let's do a time lapse there as you can see it is automatically off uh, but if you put the phone on charging then this would only turn off when the phone has fully charged let me show you right there as you can see the phone is now charging i have attached it to the power bank and if we come back to the main system then the phone stand is now glowing as you can see the side led is also glowing right now it's not visible uh, in the camera but in actuality it's really bright now we'll do a simple hyperlapse and we'll come back after the phone has fully charged so guys now you've seen how this phone stand with lights um, works when connected to power and how it responds to the power that's given by the power bank and now let's move on uh, to its internal let me tell you i got this right in my third attempt and those of you who don't want to know much about the technology that went into it can skip at this given time so anyway friends let me tell you what happened the first and the second attempt in the first and the second attempt i used few components that i was not very familiar with anyway but the main problem was I used cheap LEDs and the reason for that was that it's lockdown time. So all I had left in my electronics kit were those LEDs. Um, although I found these LEDs out later, but at the moment only those LEDs were available and I went ahead and used them. So as you've already seen in my in some in the pictures that I showed you in the beginning of the video that stand looked really nice it had had a bluish and a greenish tinge to it but it could not last long it just lasted about five minutes and I could just capture two pics in those five minutes well I couldn't capture a video of course of that but that was the pics for all I had I have so I decided to go with these high-end LEDs, but at least they will last long and are durable. So guys, that was pretty much it for this video and I hope you enjoyed. So thanks much for watching, stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you around.